Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, global markets reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at the market site in Times Square, we have Kelly Forge, she's a partner over at Edison Partners, and we're going to take a look at fast growth tech companies, and they have all of this in common. Kelly, it's great to have you with us at the market site. Now, before we get into the seven traits they have in common, the growth index, what are you measuring there? This is uh, our fifth year doing the study. Um, we look at fat, we look at growth stage companies, uh, sort of shy of 10 million in revenue, up to over 50 million in revenue, tech companies, and we examine their um, top line characteristics, bottom line characteristics, all these different value drivers that are at play for companies at this stage and sort of call out the, what are the characteristics that really separate uh, fast growers, which to us, our definition is 30% year over year top line growth uh, versus their slower grower peers. And I think what's also interesting about this in that it's truly growth stage companies focused on these multiple value drivers versus, you know, even though the revenue is relatively small with these companies, they're not your early stage VC back growth at all cost companies. They're companies that are focused on scalable growth and therefore we're focused on multiple value drivers all at once, mm -hmm. you know, versus kind of growth at all costs. All right, now, what are the key takeaways? It seems as if they, the fast growth tech companies, they all have something in common. They do. Uh, there were seven, just to highlight, I guess, a few. Uh, the report's certainly downloadable from the Edison Partners website. Um, you know, from a top line perspective, I think the old adage applies first and foremost in terms of you gotta spend money to make money. So. Um, Fast growers spend 100% more than their slower grower peers in sales and marketing. Um, they also spend six times more once they've sold a customer, making them successful with their products. So that is a, uh, a big top line dynamic. Uh, another one would be um, these, these fast growers are also very good at capturing maximum value in their customer contracts per customer. So these contract values are 75% more on average than the slower growers, and they do that through strategic pricing. So they're very value-based focus, and they're very good at not only landing a customer, but growing them over time. All right, now tell us about Edison Edge. This is the broader educational arm of Edison Partners. Yeah, so we have an operating platform called the Edison Edge. When we invest in a company, um, we, this is what our companies get access to. Uh, it's no cost. It is powered by um, former operators who have worked in this stage of company. Uh, best practices, um, edu executive education programs, and it's all focused on growth, scale, and leadership. Um, what an, another aspect of uh, the Edison Edge platform is also board director development, so mm -hmm. it, which is pretty unique in this industry. We have a a pretty big focus on what makes a, big, a great board director and how do you use a board as a strategic weapon as a growth stage company. All right, now to wrap it up here, turning to private equity, what's the climate right now for private markets? It's exciting, for sure. Um, lots of capital sloshing around. Um, it's competitive, valuations are high. Um, there's also, it feels like the capital is just being deployed at a more rapid rate than ever too. I mean. We're seeing investors that are, you know, proposing marriage on the second date with some of these tech companies, right? So, um, and, and we don't really see this changing. I think these CEOs of these high growth tech companies and the stage where we're investing, you know, as long as they're um, focusing on the right fundamentals of the business and how they build and optimize their business, um, they will continue to have this kind of optionality uh, in terms of capital. All right, Kelly, thank you so much for the insight. Thank and thank you for joining me on Trade Talks. I'm Jim Allen Trino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.